Hello, everyone. Welcome to week two of the 10 day accessibility challenge. Today, we'll tackle creating meaningful links. We know your institutions are packed full of resources for your students. So when we move online, we often fear our students simply won't have access to the rich materials they have on campus. But the internet literally brings our campus into our online course, allowing us to connect to resources from around the world, including archives far beyond our own campus library. Our online courses are really magic including the hyperlink, the ability to seamlessly, effortlessly, and immediately link one digital document to another. Resources are literally at the tip of our finger as one tap on the mouse or screen brings us directly from one resource to the next. So what does this look like in our Canvas courses? Anywhere we can use the rich content editor, we can include hyperlinks, also called links. Links are transformative, turning regular text into an interactive connection to other sources of information. Let's take a closer look at the linked text. The web standard for links is a blue font. The origin of this choice is not clear, but blue is legible to people with proto-anomaly and deuteranomaly, which limit their ability to see red and green. Thus, blue is an obvious, visible choice for link color. Links are also commonly underlined when they are active. The origin of this is not clear either, but most likely it stems from the fact that few people had color monitors, so there needed to be a visual cue for links that was not based in color. Since underlining is rarely used in digital material, the feature was available and convenient. In Canvas, you'll also note this little widget, which simply means the links to a source outside of your course, so it will open in a new window. Most importantly, Links should be meaningful text that is naturally integrated into the sentence. Let's take a closer look at how to do this in Canvas. To make your link, type your text. Then go to the web page to which you'd like to link. Highlight and copy the URL. Be sure to get the whole thing. Go back to the page you were editing and highlight the text that will be your link. Remember, it should be meaningful text that clearly expresses where the link will take your students. From the toolbar, select the link icon. An edit window will open. Paste the URL into the appropriate field, then select Insert Link. Save your page, then check your link. We know you're probably ready to get cooking, making some amazing links to the resources in your class, but we also want to help you avoid some important errors. So here's four quick things to avoid to keep you out of hot water. Avoid uninformative link text, such as link and click here. Avoid repeating the same link text, especially if the links have different destinations. Avoid using a URL for a link. They are often gibberish and can be very long, which interrupts the flow of your text and will be difficult for a student using a screen reader to understand. Don't underline normal text as students may be confused and think it's a link that doesn't work. I can't end on a warning note, so here's one fun thing. Your link doesn't have to be text. It could be an image. How fun for your students if this image of Grace Hopper linked to resources about her life. That's all for day six. Sharing resources is the key to our success, so please send the link to this video to a colleague who is new to the online environment. And I'll see you tomorrow for day seven of the 10-Day Accessibility Challenge.